Your birth information was given to a professional astrologer and they've created a personality breakdown and predictions for each of you. Predictions? Predictions? We sent in your like birth time or something to some random guy on the internet and he apparently is can read stars. You went to a man for this? I think men are only What's capable that? of reading the stars. I cannot believe you went to a man for this. Clarence to think that a man is more in touch with the universe than a woman is f***ing insane. That just shows how out of touch you are with the universe. Well, all the ones I follow are women. This is Mr. Ray, the astrologer. Oh, God. Oh, okay. Well, he looks very, um, like he would know a lot of things. You mean he looks old? He looks wise. He, he looks, looks like, wise. He looks like he's been here for a while. Oh, wait a minute. Is he a scientist? Yeah, did he study? I want to know my results. Can you imagine Can a guy working for NASA on the side? He <laughs> uh, quick Zodiac refresher. Do you believe these are accurate? Depends. Yes. Sometimes so. they're not accurate about me. I mean, I definitely, when I was dating, I would always ask the person, like, what's your sign? Judge them by that. So we got all these results. First will be the predictions. Guess who it is. Then at the end, we'll reveal your signs and overall personality breakdown. Okay. okay. Ready? Before we get into the results, this video is sponsored by Travel Town. Kennedy, are you bored sometimes? Oh, yeah. How do you fix your boredom? Sometimes I'll play games on my phone, like Travel Town. What's Travel Town? Well, <laughs> Travel Town is a fun little game you can play. It's all about tapping, merging, and selling items to the townspeople to earn rewards. Plus, it's very satisfying to merge matching items and watch them upgrade. Yeah, I just sit here for hours sometimes just combining items. Kennedy just started playing and actually can't stop, and I'm starting to think that she likes the townspeople more than she likes us. I don't. Kennedy, show us what your town looks like. I'm so glad you asked, Mom. The graphics are beautiful and vibrant, and the townspeople really bring the game to life. It's like having a little community in your pocket. You can even create your dream town with adorable restaurants, cozy hotels, and a stunning beach. Whether you're looking for a challenge or just some relaxing time to yourself, Travel Town has you covered. And guess what? You can download Travel Town for free. Just click the link in the description or scan the QR code on your screen for your Travel Town adventure. And thank you to Travel Town for sponsoring this video. Number one, one of you has been in an eclipse for the last few months <laughs> and has been struggling on this life-changing decision. Kennedy. So who is this? I would say Kennedy, I don't know. An eclipse, life-changing decision. I'd say Kennedy. You're only saying life-changing well, decision because I'm moving to New I'm gonna say Brandon. Brandon's always struggling on a life-changing decision. <laughs> Brandon has a life-changing decision. It could every, be like, Claudia too, though, because she wants to get married and pregnant. That's not right. That's not. I'm not struggling yeah. on that. So I know that. So who is it? I think I'm gonna say Kennedy. Brandon. I'm gonna say it's Brandon. me or Kennedy. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna say Brandon. it's Kennedy. Kennedy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, that's pretty accurate because Kennedy wants to move to New York. And I've been thinking about it the last few months. And so. she's struggling. <laughs> Here's like, the question though. Can this question relate to anyone? It seems like it doesn't relate to Jen. Or Claudia. Definitely not to me. It doesn't relate to me. What, Out of what? the four of us, it definitely does relate to me the most. Yeah. It doesn't relate to so you. So the first one's accurate so far. On to the next one. One of you is usually very independent, but when you don't feel well, you have a strong desire to call your mom. Claudia. I don't have a desire yeah. to call mom. Oh my God, yes you do. I think it's Claudia. I literally said Kennedy. When you got your breast Claudia, implants, you. you literally were like, oh, Claudia, when is my mom? Yeah, Claude, you're very independent, but you would definitely be like, mommy. I'm gonna say I Kennedy. I think it's you. I think it's actually Never Brandon. Call, I don't call mom. Kennedy. Anytime you have an I'm, issue, I'm you go so running good. to okay. mom. No, I don't. I get advice from people, but I don't. I'm saying you get advice from I your don't mom. Feel I'm saying Claudia 100%. Shut up. It's Brandon. Mom is saying me because I don't feel well the most often. And all of my health issues, I'm gonna go to mom for. But. Also, you usually like being independent. You like yeah. being alone. You have uh, yeah. love your alone time. I would say this I is think it's me. Brandon. If, I think if this is me, I'm, I'm jumping out the window. It's all three of us. There's no way this is me. This is I don't think it's you two because I, I don't think it's Brandon. Right. I do. Mom, when do I call you when I don't feel well? Let's not do that. I don't think it's Brandon. Exactly. I think Ready? Claudia, can you mom say Claudia? Yeah. <laughs> I knew it! Wow. I can feel it. You don't really call me, you text me. Dude, we got it two, two yeah, for two. If, if you're really not feeling well, you want mom. No, I text you and mom in the group yeah, chat. Yeah, exactly. And, and just, if it's really bad, I just then it's complain. my complain. You don't complain hardly ever. Yeah, but Claudia me. is one of the most least complainers ever. She literally, mostly, whatever. <laughs> she will literally like turn blue in her face. She literally has turned blue in her face before. And then she starts complaining and saying she doesn't feel well as she's falling down the steps. Right. <laughs> Here's the difference between these two. Kennedy will call you right away. Claudia will let it get really bad and then call yes. you. Yes. But usually she's independent. Claudia bottles things up. I diarrhea things out. <laughs> and deal with and it. emotionally. Okay, number three. One of you is dedicated to honesty and truth so much that it has affected a close relationship in the past. Ooh, either Brandon or That's mom. mom. Ooh. Mm, it's... 
I think it's yeah. me or mom. I don't know. I'm mom. I feel like in your past relationships, you weren't very honest and truthful with yourself. It's to not myself. to herself. It it's just to says the other they're dedicated. Anybody. To, it's definitely mom. Yeah, I, 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 I would say too. mom. Yeah. Yeah, yeah probably. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's easy because I can't lie. I used to lie when I was a kid, but I cannot lie, and I definitely Did you just can't feed lie. Feed him to my little kids. secrets about us. I, do, I, do. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't think it's about you lying. I think it's about people being truthful yeah, to you. Right. Like you're dedicated to that, so it's like you'll dump someone if they're not honest and truthful. Right. Well, she'll or dump them. Person. She'll date them for five years until they eventually leave. <laughs> <laughs> Well. Number four, one of you felt a lack of connection with your early home life. So you picked up a hobby slash career that connects with others as a replacement. Well, I wonder who that could be. <laughs> That's definitely Brandon. Oh yeah. Really? You felt a lack of connection? I guess. Yeah. I know he lived with dad him. a lot. Oh, no wonder. Yeah, because dad stole yeah. you for a few years. Yeah. That makes sense then. What's my hobby career that connects? I, I guess all I your wish. weird little nerd shit. Filming, games, skateboarding. That's so good. Yep, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> guitar. No, it was like filming. Camera. Basically, the like we camera. look what we're doing right now. We're filming yeah. with Brandon. That's the way we connect with it's him. Not a, oh, how not, I connect with Brandon in all kinds of ways. <sighs> don't make it weird. <laughs> <laughs> that's a quiet. <laughs> I didn't make it weird. I don't feel. I mean, I don't know. Whatever. That makes me feel bad. Yeah, it feels like family therapy. It just makes me feel bad because he's it's fine. Like I, he's fine. Look at him. I'm oh, fine, mom. Brandon, you were crying like that in my TikTok, and somebody thought you were actually crying. <laughs> Cheering up. I was like, he's joking. Oh, people thought that was real? Yeah, About to take Kenny's acting that. career. Okay, number five. One of you is on the cusp between signs, which means you likely have a problem between your goals aligning with your spontaneous moods. You've picked up, but then procrastinated something important a few times. That's me. Thousand percent. Yeah, yeah she's the only one that's the only one. It, it, it could end up being me, but I feel like I've, uh -uh. I've fixed this. So this is mom, Jen. Oh, damn. <laughs> but we know she's on the cusp, so this isn't like... Yeah, that is true. That's crazy. Wait, is that five for five? Next. One of you felt you needed to prove you had something of value to offer the world, so you struggled through something you realized later was not the correct direction for you. Brandon. Claudia. Uh, that's I me with that's nursing right. school. I, yeah, I think it could be both of you. Yeah, I think it's one of us. Like We're it. both Sagittarius exactly. though, right? So it could be both yeah. of you. But who? I think it's me. I think Claudia. Yeah, I think her. Uh, I think so this is gonna be me. Intense. Mom, then just I pick Brandon or Claudia. Brandon. Yeah, I think me. I think Claudia. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Because nursing is just like yeah. a bigger deal. Oh, than that is true. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Just, Claudia was really trying to like, prove herself with the know, nursing thing. You do so yeah. many different things that you know you've started so many different things and then yeah, but uh, struggle value to, to offer the value. No yeah, but that's something of value to offer the world. A nurse is a way bigger deal nurse than nurses. But I'm saying he also did that. Brandon thing did 500 million things. I feel it doesn't mm -hmm. count to add value to the world. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to add value to himself. Also, His yeah. goal was always to get rich. Claudia wants to help That's people. Changed. That's changed. I also like felt like I needed to prove it to myself. Yeah. One of you ran into someone that completely redirected your life for the better in your late teens, early 20s. Huh? Not me. Well, you're in your early 20s right That's now. That's true. I'm gonna say it's me. I'm gonna say it's because Claudia. Because once, once I dumped you know who, my life got so much That's better. That's true. And then met, I'm gonna say Claudia. And ran into him. And but you were also in your early 20s when you met Jesse. That no, you weren't. He redirected your life for the be Four. better. I don't think it is Claudia because that's really, really early 20s. Really? None of you ran into someone that completely redirected your life. Mom, do you, do you remember? They you could have. I'm trying to think. Better. Like, better. like I met dad and then I had you guys, so that definitely I'm gonna say mom. Something. I'm gonna say Jen. I don't know. Clueless because. I'm voting myself, but. I, I, I don't I, I don't know on this one. I'm gonna say mom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dad probably. <gasps> really? You? Who'd you run into? I don't know. The only one I can think of would be like. Your professor. <laughs> Oh, I know. It could have been the guy that you took that class from, that uh, entrepreneurship class. <laughs> no, it might have been Yana's dad. Yeah, see, this is oh, what it does. Yeah, this is okay. what astrology yeah, does. Yeah, it makes you start making excuses for it. <laughs> right. Wrong. He didn't completely redirect your life. He didn't send you towards YouTube or anything. No, he kind of did, though, because no. he got me a job and I was still in college. Yeah, he gave Brandon a really good job. Like, okay, that's everybody, how... this is like a shot in the dark because most Literally. people run into somebody who changes their life. And Maybe I'm missing someone here. <laughs> what was the first one we got wrong? Wrong. Well, here's the thing. We wouldn't have had the Body Paint YouTube channel if you didn't have Yana's dad and Mom, you were that's not Oh, what true, is. yeah. We probably wouldn't even be filming this video right now if it wasn't for him. Yeah, but that you could say it. that about anyone. Yeah, you no, could literally say that about any 
anything in life. No, that's no, that was like a big important part. Yeah. That's yeah. pretty you're huge. Reaching. You're reaching. Okay. Reaching. No, because if I didn't have the money from that job, you need job, to think right no. now. Listen. Think about it. No. Listen, no. just listen. No. If I didn't have the money from that job, I never would have a camera. Next one. Who gives a? You use that camera for your YouTube account too. No one is listening to you. Well, because you need to stop describing the butterfly effect. Stop yelling in my ear. Well. Get used to it. You do it all the time. Okay. One of you had difficulties in self-worth and direction until you were 18 like, years old. Like, who did it? That was probably, that was me. That was, yeah. Yeah, Brandon. I think that was all yeah. of us. No, no, that was every, definitely mom. That was definitely, definitely mom. Had this issues. every human being on the earth. This I, did. <laughs> I did not think that. I thought I was God's gift to earth when I was. Yeah, Claudia <laughs> did. This is not, if this is Claudia, that's This wrong. is mom. I would say the me. Uh, maybe. I would say me. I started my YouTube channel when I was 18. Uh, and then this is, me. I feel like. Like Kennedy was the strongest with us. Really I'm voting struggled. mom. I'm, I'm voting Kennedy. Okay, I'm gonna too. say Kennedy. It I is Kennedy. Yeah. There yeah. you go. Yeah, we got that, that one makes right. Sense until she's 18, because she really started that the prom and the graduation yeah. and everything was 18. It says self worth and direction. You guys aren't reading the questions. <laughs> It's hard to focus okay. sometimes. One of you attaches your sense of worth to your career due to a negative experience from a once trusted authority Brandon. figure. <laughs> probably me. Yeah, yeah it's definitely Brandon. Brandon. If yeah. that's not Brandon, it's then the sky Brandon. isn't blue. <laughs> it is. <laughs> astrology. <laughs> I think it's most accurate for you, Brandon. Yeah. yeah that's pretty good. You're such sad. Sag. You zag. One of you went through a near-death experience, but ended up making the right decision at the time. Mm. I'd say the only one who's had a near-death experience is me, because I got hit by a car. Uh, you could hit on your You ankles. made the wrong decision getting hit. <laughs> mom, did you ever have a near-death experience? Probably several. I feel like it's mom. I feel like it's mom, yeah. I mean, I don't know if I was really near to death, but it could have been. I threw myself out of a car. You did? Th did you make the right decision? Made the right decision. Maybe I waited for it to slow down a little more. <laughs> I mean, it's like, did it help you get away from something bad? Yeah, like, yeah, it did. No, I think it's mom. Uh, I think it's you, mom. I don't think it's mom. I, don't, I think it's, I'm gonna say Brandon. Uh, I'm lost. Let's vote. I'm gonna say Brandon. I'm gonna say mom, so we're tied. Mom or Brandon? Yup. I, I wonder if it was that car thing. Probably. <laughs> That could be thing. literally anything. No, I literally yeah. got angry Mom at my boyfriend. Like, I wonder if it was that car thing, because this is so right. <laughs> yeah, no, I threw myself just, out of a moving car that was All going astrology like is, power. is like a method for people to self-reflect. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. You guys have voted, and like you've all decided yeah. that it's I mean, it is pretty right. accurate. Yeah, for the most part, yeah. A lot of these are accurate like for this guy not knowing any of us. Well, that's what he says. Yeah, so no, here, here is the weird thing. We're on number 10 and we've gotten seven out of the last nine, correct? I wish there was like 50 of these. <laughs> on to the next one. One of you has repeatedly flip-flopped when it comes to romantic feelings, but you recently met someone who was a positive force in your life. Brandon! That could be oh. me, you. Oh, God, that is be. certainly oh, yeah. Brandon. No, yeah, it might be me actually. Repeatedly flip-flopped. 100% Brandon. What is flip-flops? Supposed well, to be. it also go says back recently. and forth. Go back and forth. Yeah. Her. <laughs> what? Her. Go back what do you? What do you? Why do you say her? I'm girl like, guy. Girl guy. Girl guy. That's <laughs> flipping back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> that's romantic feelings. That's sexuality. That has. That's something what? completely Still. different. Mm, I'm not gonna lie. The, my first instinct was to say it was me. No, I think it's Brandon. But it does make more sense for Brandon, probably. Oh, the, the, this actually does kind of fit Kennedy a tiny bit. Yeah, it does a lot. I'm gonna say Kennedy. Brandon didn't really flip flop back and forth. No, yeah, I think this. I think this is Kennedy. I think it might be new. me. So. Okay, are we? Who are we voting? Who do you vote, Claude? I don't know. Just that pick Brandon. Kennedy. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's kind of crazy. That's the flip flop one. Yeah. That's the first one where I'm like, F damn. Well, when I saw flip flop when yeah, it comes exactly. to romantic feelings, I was like, that has to be me. Yeah, exactly. Brandon doesn't flip flop. This mother yeah. watch my YouTube videos. <laughs> <laughs> one of you has had a very serious life change with a partner or loved one in the last year, but you may feel there is still more change to come very soon. Mm -hmm. Oh, Claudia. Because yes, I got out of the Claudia. house. Yeah. Yep. It has to be Claudia. Yep. And there's Claudia. more change to come. <laughs> well, where? the other thing is. Claudia! You're having a baby soon! He literally- <laughs> This guy literally just looked at our YouTube channel, saw it. We bought a house. Yeah. <laughs> There's more change to come very soon. <laughs> I wish there was more. These are so fun. So there's a personality breakdown for all of you guys. Okay, personality breakdown. 
Kennedy. I'm first. <laughs> you were Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon, Taurus I thought Rising. I was an Aries Rising. Well, you're wrong. I really that thought my rising right. sign was a, an Aries. What it's time? It's the right time. One. 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 Oh, maybe I said one thirty. That's probably why. That will change it. Thirty minutes. Makes that would difference. change it. So this whole time you've been reading false information. Well, that would make sense because my co-star is never accurate. Oh, it isn't? You are strongly invested in creating a vision for your life as if it were an adventure or story. That's true. You enjoy experiencing others' lives as if it were your life. Wow. That's, <laughs> That's so yep. true. The moon in Capricorn gives a serious and practical personality inclined to be ambitious and a Acquisitive. Acquisitive. Acquisitive means like you want to acquire things. Mm. Uh, there can be something of a power complex in you. Mm -hmm. No, really? <laughs> <laughs> People with Taurus rising are fond of pleasures in life. Who is it? You will not let go of a project that you have put your heart into, but sometimes can be too rigid. Oh my God, your... that's weird mm -hmm. because somebody called me rigid the other day. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, no, I'm not. True as F. Claudia, Ooh. Sagittarius sun, Libra moon, Aries rising. Sagittarius is an optimistic, positive thinking sign associated with the quest for freedom from all restriction. You tend to speak with a blunt tongue, <laughs> which can get you into trouble at times, although you are usually <laughs> Wait, able Jessica, to laugh yourself come out. Come in here it. for a second and, and tell us if you agree with these. <laughs> Do you agree with blunt tongue, which can get her blunt in trouble tongue. at times? Although you're usually able to laugh yourself out of it. I always do that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, the moon is Libra, gives a gentle and refi refined personality. You constantly strive for balance between opposing points of views. Yes. You like to please everybody. She's a people mm -hmm. pleaser. Yep. Yep. You feel comfort and harmony when you're in some form of intimate partnership, and you may attract a sensitive and moody partner who you can Aww. nurture. <laughs> Do you think he's sensitive you. and moody? Yes, he is sensitive and moody. <laughs> Do you nurture him? Yeah. <laughs> Hit him up the head. <laughs> Aries rising people are energetic, forceful, and outgoing. You have a strong will and may try to dominate other people until you learn to be more subtle to get your way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jesse would know this more than anybody. Fully totally accurate. Thank you. <laughs> Jen, Capricorn, Sun, Scorpio, Moon, Pisces rising. Pisces? <laughs> Reese's Pisces rising. Pisces rising. Pisces, 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 Pisces. Reese's Pisces. Okay, Capricorn people are ambitious and practical, and you are likely to have an excellent sense of social responsibility. Your vital force is to act with authority and make a responsible contribution to the world. Yes. Career or vocation is very important with you. You also enjoy the idea of being famous. <laughs> you are likely to personally identify with your career. We also need to clarify that growing up, she was locally famous. She would go on radio shows and, and the body painting. Go on the news and stuff yeah. like that. The moon in Scorpio represents an intuitive, emotional, sensitive, often psychic connection with deep-rooted emotional experiences. Mm. Definitely. People with Pisces rising are idealistic and sensitive. <laughs> Very so true. true. And are easily influenced by everything around yeah. you. Yeah. You also have an artistic <laughs> temperament with which to express these that's feelings. The, that yeah, second bullet amazing. point is the most true thing on this <laughs> <Right>. day. <Yeah. laughs> at your best, you are truly compassionate and operate at the level of service, love, and understanding. Mm -hmm. Honestly, the whole so thing is true. accurate. Yeah. 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 Very, very accurate. Very accurate. Oh God, we have to do mine. Now. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> Sagittarius people are direct and forthright, good natured and affirmative in their outlook. You also like to have fun and enjoy a good chuckle even at your own expense, mm -hmm. true. You are likely to have a flamboyant or charismatic personality. Flamboyant? I, well, I agree, Fla flamboyant I just feel like because rap. you're just not super, super masculine, like they're the yeah. Oh, I'm not? Meat. Like, <laughs> not like, like the meatheads. Meatheads. It's a good thing. Just yeah, like the see, meatheads. You're just, if you were like that, you wouldn't survive in it's this, you have in this family. It's <laughs> yeah. would literally murder you. The moon in Aries gives inclinations to impatience, independence, and impulsiveness. You have to guard against a quick temper, but others may perceive you as cool and collected. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's true. <laughs> you are ambitious because you feel the need to be useful to society. That's so true. The, yeah. mm -hmm. Every single thing is insanely yeah. accurate. People with cancer rising are nurturing and protective of other people. Mm -hmm. You are probably the type who can be happy for hours in an antique store. <laughs> that's, that's not true. true. That's not <laughs> uh, I don't know. I used to collect coins all the time. Well, I think he'd be Depends fascinated. Depends on his mood. If he was there, yeah. I think he'd be fascinated. I, I feel like you have gotten a lot more present in the last like seven months than you were for the last like two years. Yeah. So That's like, true. Now maybe, yeah, you would. Yeah. Accurate, would you say this is? 
Like this is like 95%. Like is it possible? Yeah. Listen, let's end on this. Is it possible that you can read this and it can completely change the way you think about everything and then you end up just becoming what it's telling you? Yeah. If you read this by yourself, you could probably see stuff, but the fact that all four of you like agreed on yeah. each person is a little bit weird. I would say these are pretty accurate. I think there's no harm in astrology because it's literally just people wanting to discover more about themselves and those around them. Mom, do you want to sign off with anything cool and do like a trick or something? A trick. What do you want to do? A flip? Okay. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. We're going to go pray again. We're going to go pray again. I was just saying we're going to go pray at the end of the video. Thank you again to Travel Town for sponsoring this video. Check them out using the link in the description.